everyone welcome back to my channel today I am going to show you how I make a summer salad it's actually kind of a summer vegetable slaw is what it is and it's just using different vegetables that um, are fresh and in season for the summer so let me show you what I'm putting into it so you're gonna need a yellow squash some people call these summer squash yellow squash um, zucchini and depending on how much I get of these when I um, shred them up uh, I do have one uh, I do have two of each of these but I'm not sure if I'll use two or not because I'll probably be the only one eating this so I don't want to make too much um, some basil which I will just chop this up and I have some radishes which are just thinly sliced um, green onions and red onions I have carrots and normally I would have used um, the matchstick shredded carrots for these but I forgot to pick them up at the store so I just cut them up as small as I could and I like them kind of crunchy so some carrots and then I have some red pepper strips and then for the dressing I'm going to use the light Olive Garden dressing. Um, the original recipe I saw for this did use um, olive oil and lemon juice, but I prefer the Italian dressing because it already has seasoning in there and um, and all that. So let me show you how I'm what I'm going to use. I am using one of these veggies to use, to shred up my squashes. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these, so I will kind of show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Oh, and anytime you use the peel, of course, on any of these type of vegetables, you want to wash the vegetables really well. And I'm not going to do all this on camera. That way you just sit here and watch me do all this. But basically, see the spaghetti, it makes them into what people call zoodles. Um, and you can buy these at Walmart. So I guess you could probably, I don't have a target here, but I'm assuming you can probably buy them there too. So let me shred up both of these squashes and I will be right back. Okay, so I have my my squash. I just did the one. So I did one zucchini and one yellow squash. So that's what it looks like when you're all done with that. And I forgot to show you, also be using some baby spinach as well. And again, there's really no, um, you know, recipe for this for how many. Just It's, it's just up to you how much, how much you want to make and what you want to put in of everything. So... I chopped up my basil, so I'm just going to toss that in there, and I'm just going to toss everything in. So there's the radishes, carrots, bell peppers, the onions, and I'm just going to kind of toss this before I put in the, I'll be right back. spinach and I'll put that in there and I'm just gonna tear the spinach leaves I'm just going to toss those together. I'm losing everything. Glad I didn't do any more vegetables than I did. I had a big mess on my hands. Okay, so I'm going to put in the dressing. <clears throat> and again, I think the original recipe asked it called for lemon juice and olive oil. So, um, whatever. I'm going to put three tablespoons of this. So this, as far as points go, 
for two tablespoons, it's one point. And it looks like I have just enough to do three tablespoons. I have more, but. So I still think this salad would come out to zero points. Um, I'll put it into the calculator and look for sure, but with three tablespoons of that, and this is gonna be at least, well, I think I'll count it as one point because this, it'll be at least, depending on if this, I'm gonna have this as, you know, a main part of my dinner with maybe just some chicken. I may eat quite a bit of it, so. I think I'll just count as one point because this is probably gonna be three to four servings, so. So let's just say one point because still whether you'd use one tablespoon or two tablespoons of this dressing, it's still one point. So I'm gonna get this all tossed together and then I will show you from above what it looks like. Okay, so here's the finished salad. So you see it's really, has all, it's bright and colorful and it has all fresh vegetables and um, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for a couple hours before I would even attempt to eat it. But what I'll be doing is, um, since I'm meal prepping today, I will be putting this into individual containers to save space in my refrigerator and so I can just grab and go. So I hope you enjoyed this um, little recipe video for a summer vegetable slaw. Talk to you next time. Bye.